Hi, welcome to Dave's Model Workshop. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put in groundwork onto a diorama. So I've got my Tunisian Tiger diorama ready to go here. I've laid out the groundwork, built up the sides with styrene, and got my positions of all the things that are going to be built into the groundwork. So I've got a tank, ruined building, a little vignette that's going to be built into the ground, and this cork is going to become a well, so eventually I'm going to take the cork out and hopefully have a nice hollow round hole there. Um, so yeah, all the basics are in place and I'm just about to start mixing the plaster. So I've got 140 mils of water, pouring that into a container. I'm doing some modelling with my daughter this morning. And then I'm going to put in 200 grams of plaster of Paris. Any old brand will do. Okay, so now we've got the right consistency. It um, probably isn't enough for what I need, but we can work in two layers. My daughter thinks it's disgusting. Here we go, I'm going to start pouring it over. And I can't look. It's not that bad. So at the moment I'm just filling up that kind of crack between my two pieces of polystyrene. Yeah, so look, I'm definitely going to need more. It's not that bad, goodness. Really Alright, so yes, definitely we'll need more plaster. So I had a bit of a drama in that the plaster was leaking out the bottom of the frame, hadn't made it waterproof. Um, so I've had to move on to the grass where it's a bit less likely to get all over my picnic table. Um, almost finished glooping the plaster on. And yeah, just going to update you as we get close to the end. Okay, so this is the finished result. Um, after that drama along the way there, I uh, hadn't really realised that the bottom of a picture frame isn't waterproof, so when the plaster was really liquidy, really wet, it was dripping out through the bottom of the frame. Anyway, that's why I was working on the grass there for a while. Back at the table, the plaster is set, and yeah, this is the setup. Obviously, had to stop for a V there before. That was how traumatic it was, and that's my daughter's tiara. Um, so yeah, look, I mean, it looks a bit marshmallowy at this stage, the plaster, but that will change. Obviously, I'll put a bit of um, white glue. Yep, I'll put a bit of white glue onto it, and then sprinkle sand over the top, and hopefully that will get rid of that marshmallowy, ice creamy effect. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and yeah, come back soon to see the finished result of my Tunisian diorama. Thanks for watching, and yeah, subscribe to my channel. It's Dave's Model Workshop. Cheers, guys. Bye.